News is out there. Carson Wentz is being traded from the Indianapolis Colts to the Washington Commanders. Remember, they are now called the Commanders. Uh, Here is what is a part of the trade. The Colts get a third-round pick this year. A third-round pick can become a second if Carson Wentz plays uh, next year. And a 2022 second-round pick. Washington Commanders get Carson Wentz. They get a 2022 second-round pick. Big part here as well. Carson Wentz will make $28 million. He will make the final uh, year of his contract come to fruition. He is an unrestricted free agent, I believe, after this year. And so Washington is gambling that they can fix him. Uh, That is what the decision is being made in Washington. Now, look, the reality is this is a uh, big time, I believe, big time bet by Washington that if you look in the NFC East and the NFC in general, let's be honest, you've got Carson Wentz now in Washington. You have got Jalen Hurts in Philly. And by the way, Carson Wentz playing against the Eagles twice will be a heck of a story. You've got Dak down in Dallas and you got Daniel Jones in New York. I'm going to talk about this a little bit, but what you're seeing is some divisions are absolutely stacked at the quarterback position. I'm looking at you, AFC West. The AFC West now has got Russell Wilson. Uh, they have got uh, Justin Herbert. They've got Derek Carr. And most importantly, they got Patrick Mahomes. All four of those guys, arguably, as good as everybody that is in the NFC East or, for instance, the AFC South. I'll talk about that a bit in a moment, the AFC South in the wake of uh, Carson Wentz being gone. Uh, But Washington felt like they had a good defense. Their defensive numbers were not very good last year. They were in year one with Ron Rivera. And now they're deciding to move on effectively from Taylor Heineke, although I feel like he and Carson Wentz are somewhat similar at the quarterback position. Biggest takeaway here is that the Colts end up uh, getting out of the Carson Wentz contract and bailing on Carson Wentz after just one year. And if you are an Indianapolis Colts fan right now, they now have had five different quarterbacks over each of the last five years. Uh, In 2018, Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck surprisingly retires at the beginning of 2019 and they go with Jacoby Brissett for a year. Then they bring Phillip Rivers from San Diego, LA, uh, however you want to classify the Chargers location, to, uh, to the Colts for a year. Then they go with Carson Wentz for a year. And now the rumor is, we'll see whether or not it's going to happen, that the Colts are going to make a run at Jimmy G. And this is the Spider-Man meme brought to life, I think. Uh, Jimmy G, although granted he's had more success in the postseason than Carson Wentz, Jimmy G pointing at uh, Jimmy at Carson Wentz, both of them in the Spider-Man costume as the Colts go with another quarterback for a fifth year. That's presuming they end up able to go get uh, Jimmy G. Because otherwise... Think about how weak the quarterback situation is in the AFC South right now. You have Trevor Lawrence. Okay. Okay numbers his rookie season. We'll see whether he takes that big step in year two or whether there's cause for concern in Jacksonville. Okay. Carson Wentz uh, out. Clearly the second most accomplished quarterback in the AFC South. He now has been replaced by theoretically, unless they make a new move, Sam Ellinger. Okay. So Sam Ellinger right now, if the season were beginning now, would be presumably the Colts quarterback for the start of the season. Down in uh, Houston, I'm going to talk about Deshaun Watson in a moment, but down in Houston, you now would have Davis Mills, and then you've got Ryan Tannehill. I'm a Titans fan, clearly. How bad of a collection of quarterbacks does the AFC South have compared to, for instance, the AFC West? AFC West, Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Derek Carr, and Russell Wilson. Arguably, and I don't even think that's that tough of an argument right now, all four quarterbacks in the AFC West are better than any quarterback in the AFC South. And I think you have to say that even though Ryan Tannehill is not very good, 
he is the best of a bad collection of potential starting quarterbacks in the AFC South. And that's why I believe the Titans have to be a fairly decent favorite to win their division. Now, I'm not confident that Ryan Tannehill is going to be able to win very many games when we actually get into uh, the uh, end of the playoffs, assuming that the Titans are able to get there. You saw what happened in the playoffs, even with the overall one seed. Uh, but I do think looking at some of these divisions and breaking it down, uh, even the Colts without a quarterback right now are plus 145, which suggests there's not very much value being put on who the starting quarterback is. Uh, and the Titans are basically even money uh, to go out and win the AFC South this year uh, at plus 105. I'm looking at the fan duel numbers as we speak right now. And if you're curious what the Super Bowl odds are right now, uh, we've got a new favorite uh, in the clubhouse to win the Super Bowl this year. And don't get nervous, too nervous, Buffalo Bill fans. You are now the favorite followed by the Green Bay Packers, Kansas City Chiefs. Then you got the Rams. The Broncos have surged all the way up to 12-1 to now that they have Russell Wilson. They are the fifth overall favorite to win the Super Bowl. Uh, And there are a lot of other teams with big numbers out there. But interestingly, the Titans and the Colts are around the same place, right around 24-25-1 or as we break down things. The Washington Commanders, by the way, 55-1. to Uh, even with the move that they've made today to go get Carson Wentz. Uh, So we'll see what happens with the Colts. Obviously a very talented team outside of the quarterback position. There don't seem to be a lot of available quarterbacks here now other than Jimmy G. Doesn't seem to be a lot of excitement uh, for the available potential first round quarterbacks whether it's Kenny Pickett, whether it is uh, Malik Willis, uh, whether it is uh, a guy that I think is going to be pretty good, Matt Corral, none of those guys seem to be exciting a great deal of, uh, of, of joy in the draft eligible teams. We'll see whether maybe the Colts really like one of those guys and they're potentially going to make a run there. 